Hatel Kasmi, Timothy Harakmi, and our principal, our staffs, victims on the days of the days, and my friend Kasmi. Uh, Thank you very much for accepting your invitation there and leading us by your presence. Savita and Bish go for difference and innovations. We do things differently. If you go anywhere in this building, that will be a different experience. It will not be like normal college or normal institution. What we have followed all these years are uh, in a different thing. We do things different and that is why we are known for this thing. I am really happy to participate in this fight from where Brazilian is being commanded. This is a brain chain of our world group of institutions and you know implementing new things in a affiliated college is very very difficult lot of difficulties hurdles and uh, obstructions are there to implement new things whereas in a university you can do whatever you like to certain extent without much difficulty here it's really a tough time for the staff and the management to implement new things in the old place <coughs> because our affiliate university doesn't want for two things. Only they, they are all with old people, they don't want to bring new things. Secondly, they don't want to others grow. That is another uh, big problem with the affiliate university. But with all this difficulty, I really commend the principal, the director. Staff for taking so much of trouble in implementing this scheme for the benefit of the students. You will not find this type of uh, learning anywhere else in this university area, in this university area. I wish this will help you to finish the course at an early date and you will be more knowledgeable, it will be more easier also. Very nice to also. I hope you all enjoy this and this will help you to come up in life. I wish all of you a great success and great future in your life. Thank you very much. Respected Dr. N. M. Vilayan, Founder, President and Chancellor, Dr. S. K. Vashni, Founder Head of the International Scientific Cooperation DST Government of India. Dr. Vijaya, Principal of the institution. Dr. Rajesh, Director of the institution, dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, faculty members, and my dear students. First of all, I thank organizers of this event for inviting me to this important ceremony, commemoration of securing this trademark on SEC Flexi Learn. It's an innovative program, but I can understand whatever written is in NEP. If you look and what I could understand in this five minutes or ten minutes uh, presentation. This is all included in this Flexi Learn, and I think Savita Group has taken a lead in implementing this. I am also closely associated with NEP when it was announced and when it was framed also. NEP was a policy document. Policy means it's broadly, a vision was given. What we 
expect from our education system, it was a decent document. Now, to implement that document, another document came out, that was the National Credit Framework. You might be aware of that. If you are not aware, just I will give, because a large number of students are also there. I will give a brief, what is that National Credit Framework? And what are the advantages of this National Credit Framework? So, before coming to the other points, I will, this is the right mo uh, moment in the occasion where we can discuss this National Credit Framework because this is closely related to this flexi learn program. Now, this education has been divided into the levels because we are in a higher education institution. So, I will just confine myself to the higher education and the levels related to the higher education. But to start with, I will start from the 10th level. 10th level has been kept at the level 3. And the every subsequent year of learning, I am talking about subsequent year of learning and how subsequent year of learning is defined. This is given because I am not going much of the details of the things. So, that enhance the level by 0.5. So, 11th is 3.5. 12th is level 4. If you are completing BTEC first year or any undergraduate program first year, 4.5 and so on. And the highest level is 8. That is PSC. So this is how the levels of education or years learning has been defined. Now what are the advantage of that? When I say the subsequent year of learning, now nowhere we have defined in each this area or that area. Advantage is that if you have done something say in vocational okay, at level 3 so you can easily move in say normal mode of the education at the level 3.5 and this is true for all levels up to 8. So this is the advantage of national credit framework and that national credit framework was announced by the UGC Government of India and had, it has been implemented in AICTE because we were closely associated. We made these levels even before the announcement of the National Credit Framework and those who are familiar with our approval process handbook, they may find this level even the last year, not this year, in the last year also in our approval process handbook and how people can migrate or students can migrate from one level to the another level, from one stream to the another stream, that is flexibility was given by AACT also. Now after announcement of this national credit framework, many institutions, when I am saying many institutions, so my intention is mostly the government institution, because the government institution they are rigid. Uh, in implemented the things which are out of box. But private institutions, they are those who are progressive. When I am saying the private institutions or institution, my idea is or my thinking is only for the progressive institutions. They take advantage of all the policies of the government of India or state government and implement it in the best way. And what I see here today that Savita, this institution, has implemented, has come out with a, a document, a document, I will call it document, the trademark also, that is FlexiLearn, right? Now, after announcement of the National Credit Framework, many institutions, including IITs, they came out that they are finding difficulty in implementing this national credit framework and what are the provisions in the national credit framework, they are finding difficulty. So, government of India make a constituted a committee to find out the difficulties and to give the solution of these uh, problems in implementation of the national credit framework under the chairmanship of UGC chairman. I was a member of that committee and there were other 12 or 13 members and the mandate was to frame SOPs for 
implementation of national credit framework. Committee met and they decided that we should have three committees, rather three sub-committees, one for the school education, one for the higher education and one for the vocational education to draft SOPs for implementation of the national credit framework. And I was fortunately chairing the committee of higher education to draft SOPs for the operationalization of the national credit framework. And yesterday or day before yesterday, these SOPs, they have been notified by the UGC. I will request faculty members and <coughs> policy makers in the institution, please go through and you will find more things because you are coming out with this Flexi Learn program. You can incorporate many, many more things out of these SOPs. These those who have been notified by the UGC and you can take further advantage. So a lot of provisions are given. One of the things I will like to share is that if one student has, how it is student centric, just I want to tell. If one student has interest in music and he has taken admission in engineering in any branch of the engineering, but he wants to pursue his music also, so he can pursue it. And the interest in the credit earned through this music interest can be counted towards its degree. Right. Also, similarly, this one music is one example. You can count the scores or any other thing which can be creditized. Creditized when when I am saying creditization, it should be at the level same level. If your credit is counted at the level 4.5, then music credit or the score credit should be at the level of 4.5, and the assessment has been done by some of the agency before assessment. You cannot count the credit. No credit can be awarded or counted unless until assessment, proper assessment has been done. If the assessment is done, the boy or girl has cleared that course, then the credits can be counted. Similar is. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, First of all, I thank uh, each and every one of you to be here and spending so much of your valuable time. Uh, like myself, Dr. Rajesh, like I'm the director of this college. We all work under the leadership of our chairman and uh, the, we are sitting at Savita Engineering College which was established in 2001. We attained uh, autonomous status in 2019. When we attained autonomous status, we were allowed to frame our own curriculum. So, like we wanted a philosophy for our autonomous curriculum. We adopted lifelong learning as our uh, philosophy for our autonomous curriculum. Because technology changes every day, uh, there are many studies uh, by World Economic Forum and reputed agencies that say 80% of the jobs are not uh, going to be there. By 2030, new jobs are going to appear, but no one knows what jobs are going to come. So we wanted all our learners, we call our students as learners, our learners to be uh, adaptable. Uh, so for that, we want to make them learn how to learn. So that is what is called lifelong learning. So to, uh, to implement our philosophy, we searched for the right system and we found the fully flexible choice-based credit system will be the apt method to make them learn how to learn. Uh, so like we developed a unique system and developed uh, customized uh, softwares for implementing the same. And we called it FlexiLearn system. Since it is unique, uh, uh, intellectual property of India was uh, gracious enough to award the trademark for the same. Uh, so this FlexiLearn is a term coined by our own college. It's a unique, it's not uh, there in English. So uh, that is how uh, the FlexiLearn was born. With this FlexiLearn system, uh, students can choose the subject, uh, faculty, their own timetable from first semester onwards. Uh, this uh, and also the domain in which they want to specialize. Uh, this gives them great flexibility. Uh, like uh, this develops decision making skills, time management skills uh, among the students as well. Uh, FlexiLearn makes it possible to, uh, in many more ways, for them to grow in their academic journey. Like it was mentioned in the presentation as well. 
it uh, uh, helps them to do specialization uh, earn minor degrees in a more seamless way which uh, ACT has uh, implemented the minor degree specialization which ACT allows is very easy for our students to get uh, they can also learn as uh, mentioned by our uh, honorable chief guest uh, we have introduced transdisciplinary learning which is also made uh, uh, which is easy to acquire in our FlexiLearn system like in addition to engineering a student who is interested in music, sports, yoga, even drama can take courses in that and get, get credits also for the same along with their engineering degree. So transdisciplinary learning is possible because holistic education is important for a student. The narrow engineering in the narrow branch of their own study is not enough in today's world. As our uh, guest of honor, Mr. Dr. Vashni also mentioned, uh, interdisciplinary learning is very important in today's world. The uh, a car is no more uh, domain of uh, mechanical engineer alone. It is only 25% uh, mechanical, other 25% computer science, electronics, electrical, everything. Similarly, in a building, IoT, computer science, everything comes into play. In FlexiLearn system, interdisciplinary learning is uh, very much possible. In each classroom, uh, learners from different branches, from different years will be sitting with them. So there is a possibility for, for a broader collaboration between students and they will be meeting different faculty, which makes interdisciplinary learning very much uh, possible. These are all the few advantages of FlexiLearn. And uh, basically, uh, to summarize, FlexiLearn makes learning uh, learner-centric. In our traditional conventional system, it, uh, the learning used to be teacher-centric, where the teacher will uh, prepare for the class, he will cover the syllabus. In learner-centric education, a learner learns at his own pace uh, and uh, learning is ensured. Uh, that is the most important cornerstone of our FlexiLearn system. Thank you.